We have had hundreds of conversations with all those that serve, the veteran community, those that continue to serve, those that have lost their loved ones in our nation's longest conflict. Every single one of them believe that this memorial deserves to be built within the reserve. So when I got that knock at that door and when they told me that my husband had died earlier that day in Afghanistan, I knew that this life was no longer about me, but it was about telling the American people about those that are willing to give the ultimate sacrifice. There's no other place that would be appropriate for a memorial of this magnitude to go. Right now is the time we need to do this. It needs to be on the mall because we need to be able to tell that story. We need to tell the story of the millions of veterans that volunteered to go to war. Only 1% um, of America is serving in uniform right now. It's important uh, to tell uh, stories of uh, like Jane's and her husband's uh, more widely. We've been a nation at war for going on 20 years now. Considering the sacrifice of all the veterans who fought in the global war on terrorism, there's really no time for delay. It's an inclusive approach to the memorial, not only for those who sacrificed, but for those who served and their family members. I recently got out of the Army this past January. My husband is currently deployed right now on his seventh deployment. Uh, we have young children. I want them to, to recognize the sacrifice of those that came before them, uh, that they have been fortunate to have been born and raised in the United States and, and given the wonderful life that they have. When individuals and Americans step forward uh, to sacrifice and to risk everything to protect their neighbors out of love of country and out of love of neighbor, that this nation's gonna honor them. I ask each and every one of you at home to call your local representative and ask for their support because together we will get this done.